today we're going to be installing the Rad Sports Kayak Hoist. And to make this video really easy for you to use, I've left the contents up here to show you where you can find each of the steps. Feel free to fast forward to any of these points in the video so you can get the information that you need to help you install your new kayak hoist. So now I'm going to unbox the Rad Sports Kayak Hoist. Let's see what's in the box. This comes with everything you need to be able to hoist two kayaks up in your garage and keep it out of the way. It's got these straps that are going to hold the kayak. It comes with rope to be able to thread through all the pulleys. Uh, it comes with these cleats. These are a little bit lower, lower quality than I might have liked. Maybe I'll upgrade these later. Uh, but these are going to be the tie downs for the rope later. It's got these hook pulleys. They've got these pulleys here to be suspended from the rope, and they've got these hooks that'll go into the straps. And we'll see how those work a little bit later. We also have these pulleys that have a nice uh, cleat that attaches to a two by four on your ceiling. And uh, this pulley here where the rope's gonna go through. And then another kind of pulley is also included. And that includes this brake system so when the line is slack, it's gonna snap shut on the rope uh, and keep the kayak from falling. Now you should always tie down uh, the rope onto the cleats. I'd also recommend putting a safety strap either on the bow and stern lines or around, around the boat in other ways to be able to keep the kayak from falling down on somebody's head or on top of your car It's in the garage. So I found that some of this hardware looks a little bit flimsy. Uh, so I might substitute some of this later when I install uh, just to make sure that it's secured with the highest quality hardware. Uh, but otherwise, can't do can't do much better for under 40 bucks on Amazon for this. All right, so the next thing you're, you're gonna wanna do after you get your space cleared out is you're gonna wanna find the location for your kayak to go. Now, in my, in my place, I want them to go parallel to the walls, but I've got these rafters that are going perpendicular to the walls. So I've gotta figure out a way to make, to make some supports parallel so I can hang the hoist. So I'm gonna do that by hanging some two by fours from the joists above them. The kayak straps tend to hang down a bit, maybe about 16 inches from the, uh, from the top of the two by four that you're gonna be using. So you wanna take that into account for how low you want your kayaks hung. I've got an eight foot ceiling, so putting them directly on my rafters is gonna be okay for me. But I've also gotta figure out where to put them side to side. I want it to be eh, maybe a couple inches away from that countertop when I lift it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out from that countertop half the width of the kayak, and that's, I've got 28 inch kayak width, so I need a 14 inches extra clearance. I'm gonna add another couple inches. So that's gonna be 16 inches for the width of my kayak and a little bit of clearance, plus the width of the countertop, which is 24 inches. So that's 40 inches away from the wall is where I wanna put the center of my two by four when I mount it up there in the rafters. To measure for the second kayak, I know that my kayaks are 28 inches in width. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of breathing space between them. So I'm gonna measure 32 inches to place the center of my second board. Now that I know where our kayak is gonna go side to side in the garage, I gotta figure out where it's gonna go front to back. Now I've got 10 foot kayaks, but I got a problem. You see that garage door? That garage door is only about uh, 10 inches below the rafters. I can't actually hang the kayak high enough to be able to get it over the garage door when it's open. So I've got to hang it behind the garage door. It's actually about 11 foot space. So I got to do some measuring to be able to figure out exactly where it should go. A really important part of the measuring process is figuring out where the straps are going to go. With a 10 foot kayak, using the manufacturer's recommendation of six feet between the, the different pulleys, that would actually put the straps right about here. At this location, the kayak is gonna be really prone to falling out by the strap slipping. But I actually feel more comfortable putting about three feet from the bow and from the stern. That's my six feet, so four foot distance between the two pulleys as I'm thinking about laying out the board that I'm going to use to have my pulleys on. Now I'm gonna show you how I laid out for the pulleys on this board. So first, I decided that one end was gonna go on that first rafter up there. Now I've gotta mark off where that first two by six rafter is so I can figure out not to put the pulley there. I'm gonna give myself another inch of space for where the pulley's gonna start. I'm gonna draw where I gotta drill some holes. And now that I have that in place, I'm gonna measure along from the start of the pulley all the way down to the other side of the board. 
I said 48 inches. So that's gonna be right here. Now we're gonna make the holes to attach to the pulleys. It's really important to use a drill bit that's one size smaller than your, than your lag screws here. Now, in this case, that's a 732nd inch bit. It's really important to actually drill this and get this going on the ground so you don't have to do it above your head later on. Now that I have the first board drilled, I can use it to mark the second board. And now we just drive in these lag bolts. And now that I'm done screwing in the lag bolts, you should have two boards that look just like this. Next, we're gonna to wanna to start pulling the rope through the pulleys and then attaching those pulleys to these brackets. So now what you wanna do is you wanna thread this rope through this hole that's at the bottom of the bracket up through the brake and over one of the pulleys. See how the brake is doing its job holding that rope taut? Now you're gonna to wanna to keep the brake open as you thread through some line. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is take this rope and thread it through one of these hooks. Now you want the hook facing the center of the, of the kayak as you would think about lifting it. So you're just gonna put that right through the bottom here. Just thread that right through. And finally, you're gonna to wanna to take the rope and put it through the center hole right here to be able to get the rope secured through the bolt. Now to do that, you're gonna to wanna to tie a, a knot in the end of the rope. So what I'm gonna to choose to do is tie an overhand loop. Should look just like that when you're done. And now, the purpose of that loop is that you're gonna have you're gonna have that bolt that goes through this hole go right through the center of that loop and that's gonna secure this rope right in there. All right, and now that we've got the first one threaded through, we're gonna find the other end of the rope and thread through the rest of it. So we're gonna take the other end of the rope here and we're gonna do the same kind of process. We're gonna thread it right up through the hole in this in this bracket underneath the brake pull it right up here and this is going to go over the same pulley on the same side of the hole uh, that it came in through we're going to take it out the other side make sure to hold the brake open so that you've got plenty of line to be able to come through and now we're going to thread through the other pulley this line is going to travel across the top of the pulley and then it's going to come it's going to come right underneath this this pulley here with the claw with the uh, the points of the claw facing inward toward the kayak back up and then we're going to repeat the same process we did on the other side by putting this rope end through this hole and then tying an overhand loop to be able to secure it through the bolt in this bolt hole right here. And you want to keep the uh, the end of this pretty small just so you don't have a bunch of rope hanging out the outside of your bracket when you're done doing this. So now I've got that overhand loop in. We are all threaded and ready to attach the brackets. So the bracket just fits right over the other one and you want to thread it and just right through. Just like that. And it comes with these nice little lock washers uh, to be able to make sure that this doesn't unthread as a safety mechanism. Just tighten that right up. And there's a reason why I put this first bolt in uh, first, and that's to be able to make sure that I can thread this other bolt through easily by adjusting this up and down, got a little more play for me. So I'm gonna put that bolt in through the first two holes, then through that loop I made earlier, and then it should just go right out the other side. Just like that. 
that. And then we can just screw that down. Because I have exposed rafters, my installation is one of the easiest types. If you have drywall covering your rafters and your ceiling, you're going to need to take a 2x4 and use lag bolts to secure it to the rafters. Pay attention to which way the rafters are running because it may be in the opposite direction than you expect. So I was moving on to the next step and I discovered one problem, which is that threading it before putting it up on the ceiling meant that the rope was actually getting pinched. It's easily solved though, because I can just re-thread the rope to that second pulley right there. So I'm gonna do that and then show you how I attach the board to the rafter. It's 5 sixteenths by three inch bolts to bolt through the two by four into the rafter. First, I'm gonna pre-drill with a quarter inch drill bit. When drilling these holes, it's a good idea to have a clamp in there, to keep it right on your mark. I'm gonna put in two of those 5 sixteenths by three inch bolts spaced about an inch away from the edge of the two by four. I'm also gonna try to make sure that I hit right in the center of the rafter. That's it, it's attached to the rafters. And now we're gonna put the straps on, tie a line between the pulleys and pull up the kayak for the first time. And don't forget to tie those safety lines between the two pulleys. To tie the safety lines, there's a nice little hole in the middle of this, uh, these hooks you can use right here to affix your line. So here's my two half hitches on one side, and I got a taut line hitch right here. Nice thing about a taut line hitch is it'll hold tension. So that's why I'm using that knot. And now that we've got this all tied up, safe and secure, we're gonna raise it to the ceiling for the very first time, and let's see how it goes. After you're done raising it, you want to tie it off with cleat. So the screws supplied with this are really cheap, and I just broke one of them. You'll probably want to upgrade those. To lower the kayak, you're going to want to take the rope off the cleat, take the rope toward the center of the kayak, pull inward, and let the rope slide through. and you just got to be careful how you do it. Make sure to lower it evenly by letting, letting the rope out slowly. And once you got it even, you can let the rope out as a pair. When you release that brake, it just slides right down. And that's about it. I'm just going to mount the second kayak and show you how that went. So this is what the finished product looks like. You should be able to hang two kayaks up above. I got plenty of room to walk right underneath them, not bang my head. And they're also nicely tucked out of the way and not gonna interfere with the garage door when it's open. So that's about all for this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please consider liking and subscribing and leave a comment. Let me know how yours came out.